Good morning everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Early Saturday morning here in Passau, Bavaria, Germany. I'm doing the 130 kilometers an hour range test with the Skoda Enyaq IV80. Charging to 100%, I arrived with 92. Battery is cold, I only get 12 kilowatt. We'll look in the, in the car because I will look at the battery temperature throughout the drive because I wanna know if I have if I'm stupid or not, because in the Kia EV6 um, battery was warm, I was driving with a lot of power, um, then charging with 90 kilowatt, but then to 100%, so less charging speed. Then I did the 130 kilometers an hour range test at 9 and then at the end 5 degrees. And then the battery was so cold that I had a snowflake and uh, uh, that battery uh, charging was reduced. 77 kilowatts still or 72 in the beginning is still great but the car showed it's a cold battery and I want to see my problem with that was not that the battery was cold and then you have lower charging speed it's normal my problem with the car was that the battery was warm I drive with 130 kilometers an hour and then the battery is cold I want to see it today I think it's right now it's look at that 12 kilowatt at 96 percent and here is the Skoda thing and those turn red when you open the door otherwise they're blue that's what I said there we go 12.25 degrees that's the maximum temperature here that's the inlet if it would warm or cool the battery it's the minimum temperature charging with 11.2 kilowatt and I'm 96.5 percent so I want to see if I start with 12 degrees in the battery and when I finish, what's the temperature then? Is it colder? Is it warmer? I think it should stay the same or even warm up a bit. And that's the whole reason I'm, I'm, I'm monitoring the battery temperature. Why does it always turn off when I... <laughs> whatever. Um, but what will I do with the range test? I drive with 133, which is 130 kilometers an hour uh, GPS speed right here on the highway in one direction to 55 something percent truck and then come back to the energy charger on the other side so never leave the highway and i'm trying to do the 130 as long as possible there is a i will change highway at one point and here is a little speed limit at 100 kilometers an hour for two kilometers and maybe that's construction too, but I try to get at an average speed at around 127. That's normally what I get, and that's my goal. And then we look at the range in the winter. It's six and a half degrees right now. It will stay at that temperature today. It won't get too warm. It's cloudy and a bit foggy. And I have the heat on and I will be comfortable. We have the seat heat on and the heat on 23 degrees or whatever I need. I like it warm, I know. <laughs> Not what everybody likes, but I like that. I like it to have be very warm. So let's wait to charge 100% and then go. I am on my way, I'm driving 133, that's GPS speed 130. I'm driving in individual mode where I have everything on normal except for the ACC. Uh, in eco mode, car cannot, doesn't drive faster than 130. And every time you start the car, it goes into normal mode. So if you are in any other mode, every time I start the car, I go into normal. That's a bit annoying. Um, I have these settings for heat, 23 degrees, but driver only, so the rear will also not be heated and the passenger side seat heater is on two. I looked before the start, a car showed me it's taking 1.7 kilowatt um, for heating and the electronics. Electronics usually are 300 watt or so, so that's cool. and. I drove 25 kilometers in 12 minutes. Consumption is a bit high. And, and by the way, I know it's a bit 
confusing that the bottom number is the instant consumption, then uh, above is the uh, average. Average consumption is a bit high right now because the first nine kilometers are uphill. And that's also the reason why my battery temperature has increased. So it was 12.3 when I started, now it's 13.75, but it also has been 14 degrees. It cooled down from 14 degrees back down. Uh, state of charge here on EV Notify was 89.8, here it's 90%. I will drive on and then in Deckendorf go to the A92 and go in direction of Munich and then turn around whenever I'm at 55% or something. I wanted to film at 75% as usual, but it's 73%. Yeah. Still driving my 133, have to pass the truck. Have self-steering on. Pretty annoying because it only detects that you have your hands on the steering wheel if you move it and you have to move it a lot and then the car is shaking a bit and that's just uncomfortable. So let's look at our data. Consumption is pretty high, 293. At these settings at six and a half degrees at 133. I don't know, it's, it's pretty high. Um, drove 72 kilometers in 34 minutes. My average speed is amazing, 125 is great. And battery temperature is totally weird. So I looked at it and I saw it going down and down and down. And I thought, oh my god, I was totally wrong. I, 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 it, the battery is really cooling down at these temperatures when you, I turn on the light here, when you, when you drive 130 and then suddenly it jumped from 12. So it went up to 14 and then down back to 12.1 or so. And then suddenly it jumped up to 16 and now we are on 17 degrees. So, and nothing changed. Uh, this is extremely flat here. I'm using around 30, 40 kilowatt. That's the red number there. And by the way, the temperature is the violet there. Or what do you say? Yeah. And I was totally, Oh my God, I was wrong, but no, it's heating up, even though I'm just taking, and it's not getting warmer, six and a half degrees, the same as on the start. It's foggy, no sun, but that's not heating up the battery now, it's 17 degrees. The thing is it's 17 and 12.75, so the hottest one is 17, coldest is 12.75. <laughs> I'm at 50%. Let's look at our data. 125 kilometers driven, that would mean 250 kilometers of range. One hour, that's why average speed is perfectly 125. Consumption is very high. Uh, it's possible that I had wind against me and usually it's a bit less consumption on the way back. So we have to, then it even goes down already. 
we have to look when we when I arrive because then we have start and end point at the same elevation and we cancelled wind and everything out if the wind didn't change in between. Battery is at 17.5 degrees. It heated up 5 degrees from the start. Yeah, now minimum and max temp has uh, uh, switched. That's weird. <laughs> um, I'm already going back. How far is it back? 53 minutes, 100 kilometers to the charger, should be okay. I'm listening to a self-help book for self-confidence because, you know, some people have problems with that and I'm one of them. Let's be confident. And by the way, if you have already admired my beautiful navy blue hoodie with the beautiful Battery Life logo, there's merch in the store. Link in the description or you can even see it under the YouTube video. There's more, not just this, but this hoodie is awesome. I have two of them. And they're different things, one with a font and one with a very small logo. If you don't want it that big, it's really comfy and warm. And don't forget the channel membership. We have 53 members now. Uh, here on YouTube and with membership you get a little logo so everybody knows that you're supporting me and at different levels doesn't have to be a lot and uh, what you get is early access to videos so when I'm done with the video editing it's uploaded and members and patreons get it and a discussion and pictures uh, in the background what's happening and if I get a car or something I'm in contact with someone, I always talk to them, it's always fun. I'm at 25%, still driving 133, I have 80 kilometers of range. The gasometer is not reacting to my speed as what I wanted to. I drove 190 kilometers, consumption is going down big time. Um, it's still 7 degrees, it was 6 degrees in between, so the average is 6.5. I have, how far is it, 38 kilometers to the Georgia, so I have 41 kilometers of margin that is totally fine and my battery is at 21.6 degrees come on focus there it is um, so I almost gained 10 degrees in the battery I arrived with 12%, consumption 279, average speed is amazing, 126, 228 kilometers. Uh, at home I will look and see the heat is taking this, so 800 watts or 900, because 300 watts is just for the system, um, it's not too much. At a pretty high consumption, it was 6 to 7 degrees for the whole trip. Um, heat was always the same setting and like I said, I was in, I can't do that, I yeah, can't do it only when I'm, no, why can't I press on mode, I have to be in gear, yeah, no, it always jumps to normal when you don't do anything, that's annoying, um, yeah, and the battery temperature is wrong, so I see that the, it's not an EV notifies problem. The problem I think is in the battery that's saying which sensor has the lowest and the highest temperature. Because a minute ago it was 20, uh, so 10 minutes ago it was 24 degrees and 21. Then jumped to those setting uh, temperatures, both 20. Then it jumped to 24 again. So I think the battery of the temperature is 24 degrees. I think that's the real, the highest temperature and the lowest should be the 20.3 here. That would mean uh, that the battery heated up by 12 degrees while driving 130. 
So in this car the battery heated up from 12 degrees to 24 degrees when driving 130 at 6 degrees. And in the Kia EV6 it was 9 degrees at the beginning and 5 degrees at the end. And uh, uh, it was foggier, so maybe that has more impact. But from a hot battery to a cold battery, in here, battery heated up and it will charge now and see if I get 125 kilowatt. I don't even know if the Enya can do that. I haven't ever charged it at low, uh, low state of charge on Ionity since I have it. And it's gone in three days. <laughs> But high consumption, I would say that the EV6 two weeks ago would have had 270 as well at that speed. So this is, has even higher consumption EV6 at those conditions. So the heat winter is so bad for consumption. We all know that. Uh, um, and it's even sometimes worse than you think. I'm pretty sure in the summer without AC and there, you saw the ID4, it's very similar. It was, what was it? at 130, 200 watt hours per car, something like this. I put it in, I don't know. And by the way, here's all the data, truck as usual, truck stop, uh, all the data from temperature, tires, winter tires, um, what Google Maps says uh, the, the kilometers driven should have been, and then the adjusted uh, consumption with this real kilometers, and the range and the range from 10 to 80 percent where you usually drive and the battery capacity but here with 130 you have a lot of heat loss the 90 kilometers is better to calculate the actual battery size so let's charge and see and what do we get that's the stuff that's the highest it can go so 24 degrees is enough for the ENIAC to get its max charging speed and of course you have to be under 15% state of charge. Low voltage is low as it is in the 77 and even in the 45 kilowatt hour pack for the for the ID3. My ID3 it's it's uh, the lowest is 400 volt and it goes up to 459 I think. Okay, charge like uh, uh, charge a bit then uh, get the IX wait for the BMW X tomorrow live stream well you won't you will see this video later so it doesn't matter um, I have to clean up the car because I need everything in the IX and that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye